Hi, my name is Dr. Rudramon and through the Oral Health channel today we are going to be talking about Inflammatory Bowel Syndrome and Oral Health. Let's start. So, I am going to be talking about Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Now, it has been found that the gut really influences almost all parts of your body and most of the inflammatory diseases of the gut show some sort of oral manifestations that is in the mouth. Now when it comes to Crohn's disease it's usually seen mostly in males and about the third decade of their life where they present with non-cachiating granulomas in the GI tract and this presents as abdominal pain and diarrhea and gastrointestinal symptoms. Now when it comes to the oral manifestations of Crohn's disease, you have a lot of common findings which might be present with other inflammatory diseases of the bowel such as ulcerative colitis, such as recurrent aptus stomatitis, you can have mucositis, you can have mucogingivitis. A generalized inflammation of the mucosa is generally seen. The areas affected are lips, buccal mucosa and the vestibule. On top of that, there are some characteristic features that you can see such as mucosal tags that are present in the buccal mucosa or some sort of uh, ulcerations in the form of angular colitis you can get uh, candidiasis and there is a characteristic cobblestone appearance that is seen you can see diffuse swelling of the lips the fissuring and the cracking of the lips of the vermilion border as well now what is the treatment for Crohn's disease usually after the diagnosis you are supposed to get treated by immunosuppressants corticosteroids or biological agents once the cause is ruled out and it's taken care of the definitive cause is treated your oral symptoms might come down and also if you're a patient suffering from Crohn's disease my empathy and my sympathy towards your discomfort but make sure if you're getting these oral manifestations along with other things get the cause treated and make sure you visit a dentist regarding your symptoms so you can be comfortable while we get the treatment done these patients are more susceptible to periodontal disease and dental caries because their saliva composition changes, the oral hygiene might be compromised, they might not be able to brush properly because of you know the trauma and the severely inflamed mucosa that might lead to irritation so that's why they're not able to eat properly as well that's causing a malnutrition as well. Now coming to ulcerative colitis this is a very serious condition which is um, affected uh, which affects the distal ileum and the colon and basically it leads to ulcerations in the intestinal tract and the similar symptoms come such as uh, you know malnutrition you get it because of that and you get abdominal pain you get diarrhea and usually it requires hospitalization during this you know peak exacerbations the oral manifestations of ulcerative colitis are very similar to that of Crohn's disease where the general symptoms such as you can get halitosis uh, coated tongue candidiasis ulcers now they the ulcers that are present in ulcerative colitis are called snail track ulcers now that's a characteristic feature you can get other things such as you know mucosal tags you also need to understand that pyostomatitis vegetans is something that is characteristically seen in ulcerative colitis patients during their highest exacerbation of the disease activity the treatment again definitive causes immunosuppressants uh, corticosteroids so that the immune response is lowered down the inflammation is taken care of so the definitive treatment is definitely to take care of the root cause and take care of the immune response through corticosteroids immunosuppressants and biological agents however the dental part or the oral health part needs to be seen by a dentist to make sure that the patient is comfortable because they should be able to eat well if they're having ulcers they should be palliatively treated and made sure that they can comfortably eat food and maintain their oral hygiene so that they can go about their day. So this was today's episode. Please like, share, subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates. If you want to get in touch with me, here are my social media handles. Kindly refrain from calling me directly as I might be busy with patients. Just drop me a message on WhatsApp. I might take five to six days to answer back to your messages, but I do respond to your messages. And please make sure if you have any queries, doubts, apprehensions or insights, please feel free to put them in the YouTube comment section. So that's it for today. Thank you.